This would have been 25 years ago, maybe, maybe 1997. I was at this meeting. It was a 24 hour praise and worship service. They had all these kind of different praise and worship bands coming through all the time, literally 24 hours straight of just worship music. And that's all. There was no teaching or anything like that. The only breaks that they had was when they were switching bands, which only was a few minutes in between. I attended and I was there for the entire 24 hours. I mean, pretty much sleeping there. People actually did, I think, bring their sleeping bags. People were experiencing God at this meeting and they were reacting to the presence of God in a way that I had an attitude. I had an attitude kind of against all of it. Sorry to say, maybe like say 22 and a half hours into the 24 hour worship thing. I called a friend of mine. I just called him just to say, you know, here I am. I'm at this 24 hour worship thing. And I kind of expressed my attitude to him, like about what I saw going on and stuff and such. And so I never forget what he said to me. He said, what are you doing there? Why are you there? He said it in a positive way. Like you need to start praising God with everybody else. Like, it's a praise and worship service and you need to stop. Just get out of your attitude and just get involved in the worship and just praise God. When he said that to me, I thought, yeah, what am I doing here? I should just praise God. I really should. I should just forget about everything everything else and everybody else and just enjoy God for a while. So I did. It was the last hour, literally the last hour of the 24 hours. I'll never forget as the band was playing and praising God and I just started entering in and praising God, I felt, and it's almost like I saw the father, hands of the father. It's like I had my hands lifted, praising him, worshiping him. And I felt God touch me. It's hard to explain, almost like playing with me. As a little child would come up to a father and lift their hands up and the father lovingly touches the child's face, like kind of cradles the child's face in his hands. That's what I felt over and over and over again for a good part of that hour. I was amazed. It was so wonderful. And I'm talking about like a tangible touch. I didn't see any physical hand or I didn't see the hand writing on the wall or anything like that, like the guys in the, in the book of Daniel, but it was tangible. Tangible. You could literally feel the touch. It was material, but it wasn't earthly material. It was heavenly material. It was spiritual material.